Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back. Okay, that was too much energy. Anyway, moving on. Um, to another episode of That's What's Up Wednesday. So this week is from a verse of the week that popped up on the Bible app. Download you version. <laughs> anyway, but this is like a eat a snack while you talk kind of Wednesday so let me grab my snack okay I'm back with my snack so here's my snack because okay if my endocrinologist ever watches this I'm doing really well duh okay like he ever would this is my snack got my beef and my cheese and my Diet soda. Is water better for you? Absolutely. Will I be drinking that? Absolutely not. Um, but anyway, so this is a to eat a snack and chat day. Just FYI. So grab your snack, come and join me, and let's pray. God, thank you for this wonderful day. Thank you for all you've given us. Lord, help me to deliver your message um, in the way that is pleasing unto you what you have given me and bless everybody watching. Let it be a good week, a good day and uh, speak through me and let this touch somebody hopefully and bless our snacks. Amen. Okay. So here's the tea guys. Deuteronomy 6, 5 is what we'll be talking about today. So here's the tea for real. I had to finish chewing, so we're back. <laughs> so Deuteronomy 6, 5 was the first of the day of Monday, a few nights ago. I don't know. Everybody's new version is probably different. But anyway, it was my first of the day. And I was just reading it, and I'm like, I felt like, I'm going to write a note. So it, the verse says, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. Now, I'm sure everybody has heard that. And you're probably like, okay, cool. Like, love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, and soul. Blah, blah, blah. Heard it a million times, right? Okay. Anyway, we all have. But the point is, is what I felt God speak to me in that, about that verse is it's saying that every part of us, every part of our being should be so in love with God that if our heart should stray, our soul and strength should bring us back. That if our soul should stray, our strength and heart should bring us back. And if our strength should fail, then our heart and soul should bring us back because every part of us is intertwined into who God is, um, who he is for us and who he says he is. And that Jesus Christ can bring us back to the center of who he is. And, and, less, and what's amazing is that should we forget, we are so deeply in love with him and every part of our being is just wrapped up in him. The command turns from, you shall love the Lord your God, to I desire to love the Lord my God. Because oftentimes, sometimes when we're commanded to do something, or maybe your parents, or you know, maybe you have older parents, and you know, they get on your nerves. I mean, my mom's like 52. Saturday, Friday, anyway. And you know, sometimes I'm like, oh, I want to go to fisticuffs, right? But the point is, is that sometimes when we're commanded to do something, it brings out a rebellious side in us. We're like, no, I'm not going to do that. And I'm not going to do it all the more. And sometimes we also just do it. Like, sometimes we often just do something because somebody told us to, not out of the fullness of our heart, not out of because I love you, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it so so-and-so don't get mad. Or I'm going to do it so they will shut up, you know. And that's not the way we should serve God. It's kind of a, stop bugging me, God. You know, I'll do it. Just stop bugging me. You know, that's not the heart we should have towards him. And sometimes we do that. So, some, uh, so we, just because... I'm stumbling. Give me a moment. Okay. Um, but sometimes we lack that passion behind it all. And that's, it's all good to do it and be obedient. But you need that passion. You need that desire. You need that, 
that love behind it. You need that initiative to do it, not because I just said so, but because you, you want to honor and love him. You want to do it out of the fullness of your heart. And um, sometimes it's harder to do it when we don't have that passion behind it, like me. Uh, not that long ago, I was struggling with reading my Bible and I was just doing it because God said so. I wasn't doing it because I love to read the word of God. I wasn't doing it because it made me closer to God. I was doing it because I felt a pull in my heart. And while I was obedient to that pull in my heart, which is good, I wasn't doing it out of the joy and fullness of my heart. I was doing it because so God would stop bothering me. Stop bothering me, God. Your word is too long. And some chapters, I'm just like, I die because I'm like, here we go over the genealogy or like when you get deeper into Ephesians, it just talks about cubits and I'm like, what does this mean? I don't even get you. How is this relevant to my relevant, relevant, elephant, relevant to my walk with you? Like, can we get to something more gripping, you know, and, but there's purpose for it all. <laughs> okay. But I was just doing it because he told me to, he told me to, but that discipline turned from a oh God. I don't, I don't want to do this to, Oh God, I can't wait for tomorrow. As we fall in love with who commanded the command, the rebellion turns into a relinquish, a little, a relinquished heart. That rebellion turns from, I don't want to do this, quit pushing on my heart to God, I relinquish my my disobedience and my desire, my no zero desire to read your word, to a desire to read his word. And we go from you shall to I shall. While that commandment is he's commanding you, you shall love the Lord your God, it's awesome and amazing, but he also wants us to have that in our being without him commanding it like you shall love the lord your god you shall i'm not doing it <laughs> ain't that sometimes how we feel but it turns from you shall to i shall that discipline turns into discipleship which turns into righteousness you know we need to pray god help me to love you with all my heart with all my soul and with all my strength admit we are weak and, and don't want to or can't or don't want to do it, you know, or even desire to do it. He wants to know all that because he wants to be in every aspect of your life. It's not within us, you know, it's not within us, but God can put that inside of you by accepting Jesus into your heart. That that love for him will grow by reading his word, by going through difficult situations and relying on him. And so we should let him so let's let him do that inside of us to change us in that way, to turn our rebellion into a relinquished surrender. And that's a really hard word for me, relinquish. My brain's like, blah, blah, blah. okay, turn our disciple discipline into discipleship and allow him to make us righteous people. And that's what's important is that he wants you, he is commanding you, yes. But I believe the verse is also saying, you shall love the Lord your God. And I believe he's also saying that even though I'm saying you shall, I want it to turn into I shall. I choose to love the Lord I got, my God. I choose to love him with all my heart, mind, and strength, and my soul. And I choose to do that because my discipline from what he has told me to do over and over and over again has now turned into a love a love to do it, a desire to do it, a want to do it. Not just a, okay, fine, you know? But because he said, not because he said so, but because I love him and I want to do that for him and I want to draw closer to him. So we can't lack that desire. We have to have that passion and that desire. Allow him to turn your discipline into discipleship. So let him change you. Let him in let him do all these things that he desires to do with you so that's what's up this wednesday i hope you guys had a good time i hope you liked your snack okay i'll see you next week